Do ductless units involve more work to install. We're gonna talk about that in this video. I had someone message me a couple weeks ago on our new HVAC guide website, and they were basically saying, hey, I've got this heating and air company, and we've talked about different options. I thought I wanted to go ductless. I see them online. I see that some of them don't cost that much. And I thought maybe that was a route I wanted to go. But as I got to talking to them more, the heating and air company said, there are more work, so we have to charge more to go that route if that's the route you wanna go. I wanted to do a video on that because I think there is a little bit of confusion with that, especially these days, as we have all these companies coming out with do-it-yourself heating and air, or we see where you can buy a lot of this stuff in big box stores or on Amazon. A lot of times folks are not comparing tomato to tomato, if that makes sense. They're not comparing apples to apples. I think all in all, if you're saying, well, you know, it's one indoor unit and one outdoor unit, that's what we a lot of times will call one-to-one, -one. one indoor, one outdoor with copper line sets running in between, electrical and so on. In the grand scheme of things, a lot of times a one-to-one -one does not require that much work. They're not that hard to put in and that's why they are figuring out ways to make it to where homeowners can install them. You have no ductwork to install, you just put the system in and you turn it on. So ultimately, again, if you were saying, look, I'm gonna compare installing a one-to-one -to, -one to a full conventional heat pump or furnace type heating and air system with ductwork, I would say that this option with all the ductwork and everything that's involved would be more labor intensive for the heating and air company to install. So that assumption would be correct. But I think in this particular case, I wanted four zones, meaning they wanted four indoor units, four ductless indoor units, and they wanted them all to be on a single outdoor unit. So we call that a zoned mini split system. So I think what the heating and air company was basically saying is, look, you've already got ductwork there, or even if they were replacing the ductwork, the holes are already cut, you've got ductwork in place, and we're gonna just basically be replacing the system. And again, even if they're replacing the ductwork with it, it's just, it is what it is. It's pretty cookie cutter there. But when you start talking about, now you're gonna be running line sets for all four zones, you're gonna be running the electric, and then you've gotta get all that to the outdoor unit some way. Some houses it's not that big a deal, but a lot of houses it is. You've gotta physically get the line sets from one end to the other. In some cases, depending on what you're installing, you may even have something called a branch box, which is even more work. The point is, if you were under the assumption that you were in the market for a heating and air system and you were gonna go ductless or mini splits instead of conventional, I'm not pushing you one way or the other. It doesn't matter to me. It depends on the customer, it depends on the house. And a lot of times I'll have that conversation with the homeowners and decide what makes the most sense. If you do subscribe to our guide, a lot of times I'll tell folks I'm here to help, but I will have to defer to your local expert on that. They're telling you one way is better than the other then even though I'm here to help, I'm not gonna change their mind. They're telling you that for one reason or another. Ultimately, which way makes more sense? It depends on your situation. It depends on your house. I think a lot of folks think I've got these indoor units and I'm gonna put them with one outdoor. So I'm saving all this money. I still only have one outdoor unit and they don't realize that a lot of times when you go from just a single one-to-one, -one, even to a two zone, two indoor units to one outdoor, the outdoor units jump dramatically in pricing th themselves. Anyway, the point is, get some quotes, get some opinions. You wanna find a good contractor that makes you feel good and then maybe go with what they're recommending. All that said, I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.